This morning we had the big reveal of the new 2025 Acura MDX with the new Bang & Olufsen audio, slightly refreshed front and all that good stuff. But this was out of left field and Acura didn't let anyone know, at least as far as I'm aware. I was I had no no idea. They sure they shared this information before it was official, but they didn't let me know that ADX is coming down the hatch. Now Acura did announce earlier this year in January that they said they would have a new entry-level crossover. This is huge. This is super exciting. So uh, let's go ahead and click the press release. First ever ADX will arrive early next year, so early 2025. Acura and Ad crossover at Gateway of its uh, as at Gateway of its SUV lineup. We need more stuff from Acura. We need more flash. We need more flair. Give me that precision crafted and uh, performance Acura. I want to see it. So hopefully they can imbue this ADX with some pizzazz. It's joining the RDX, MDX, ZDX. And I will be driving the ZDX in two weeks from now, the first fully electric vehicle in their lineup. It's also the most powerful uh, SUV ever with 500 horsepower. It's the second most powerful behind the NSX. Rest in peace, NSX. We'll see another NSX, I promise. But who knows what it'll be and what it'll look like. But first ever ADX will be on a on the success. Well, Bill, I cannot, I cannot read, guys. It's obvious. First ever ADX will build on the success of the award-winning Integra. Okay. So Integra is already a hatchback. So now I'm thinking lifted Integra or therefore lifted Civic. What else is a lifted Civic? Well, the HRV is this. Where will this Acura be built? It is hard to say. Um, they could build it in Canada. They could build it in Ohio. They could, they're large to like uh, Acura and Honda's large platform is uh, down in Alabama, if I remember correctly. So they won't build it there. They could possibly build it down in uh, Celaya, Mexico, where they have production for the HRV here in North America. But I don't know. It's hard to say. I can't see an Acura being built outside of uh, United States or Canada, to be honest. So the ADX will be on that Civic, you know, global platform. We see other models throughout the world on that global platform as well, other than the HRV, uh, which is the ZRV in Japan. Uh, you have the Vezel, which used to be the HRV, but they kind of split ways. So it will be interesting for sure to see what kind of crossover this will be. Now, Acura absolutely needs this. And this is, there's actually some wiggle room here for them. Keep this in mind. The Lexus UX 300H, it's fine. I haven't driven it with a new powertrain, but the Lexus UX is a little under mm, underwhelming for what it is. Um, there's the Infiniti QX30 that was discontinued a few years back. That was a joint venture with Mercedes-Benz and the GLA 250. So at least from the Japanese luxury makes, uh, there's nothing in direct comparison because I feel like this ADX will be bigger than the UX and it won't be a hybrid. We know Acura has given up on the hybrid train, which was... Now, a very now that we see the current situation, market is very, very short sighted. So this ADX cannot have a hybrid unless you know Acura surprises with it us with it out of left field because they've, I mean, they've told media that hey, Acura is going to be the one to usher in fully battery electric uh, before Honda, and they're going to be switching over their lineup now. They might be back to the drawing boards. I think a hybrid would benefit them. They could put the uh, two-liter hybrid. That's all they have. That's all they have right now is a two-liter hybrid with two and four horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque. And I think that would be fine for an ADX, maybe the base model. But again, Acura, I don't think is interested in doing hybrids anymore. Conversely, what could they put from the gas in? Well, look what's on the Integra, the base Integra. 1.5 turbo, the engine's fine, but the base model comes aligned with a, uh, a CVT. That it just saps the fun out of it, but you can get a six-speed manual. If the ADX could have a six-speed manual with a 1.5 turbo, it'd be like a Civic Si on still still torn. You can say it, uh, Integra A-Spec Tech Package, right? That's a, that's a lot to say, but yeah, it's 
uh, it could be really, really unique and fun. And they can make some like big splashes, but we know the take rate of manual is really small, but that would grab the headlines and that would be good for this little ADX. What else could they do to the ADX? Well, type S it, but made it with the 10 speed automatic. I don't, I mean, I, it, since the Integra has the manual, the TLX doesn't, has been a crossover. I don't think it would be a super good idea to put a manual in, even though I just, I, I got really excited about talking about it. Now that I'm thinking about it a little more. I just don't think it would be the best decision for them. Um, so just put it with a 10 speed auto, give it all wheel drive, that super handling all wheel drive with the, the two liter. It doesn't need to be the 320 horsepower we see in the Integra type S it, it doesn't, but if they have 278 or whatever, 280 horsepower that we see in the base RDX, and then they give that super handling all wheel drive, that thing would kick serious butt in the entry level, um, premium segment, whatever you want to call Acura. Acura is pre precision craft performance or sport premium sport. I always forget exactly what Acura is. Uh, the, the sport performance brand is that what it is. They don't identify as luxury. Um, and so if it, if they identify as a sport, a premium sport brand, they need to have some sportiness with this ADX. Give us a two liter around 270 to 300 horsepower would be great. Super handling all wheel drive. And that's something, right? The Integra just doesn't have it's front wheel drive only. And that's fine. It keeps the weight down. It's an, a masterpiece of a vehicle for what it is. And the six P manual is great. ADX come with super handling all wheel drive with the two liter three or 20 horsepower would be fantastic, but I don't want to get my hopes up. So let's just say 270 horsepower, super handling all wheel drive, uh, maybe a type S ish. I guess they could do the type S, S of course. And then of course they would, I mean, Acura is not going to skip out on that a spec treatment too. Oh, I didn't read. I didn't read Emil Korkor. He's such a, he's such a fun guy to hang out with. I love talking wrestling with him, but, and then I'm not talking about like collegiate wrestling. I'm talking about like WWE anyways, this is what he had to say. The 25 Acura ADX will add a fourth SUV to our lineup, a new gateway model ready to build on the incredible success of the Integra. Helping make Acura a destination brand for new generation buyers. Okay, that's great. Well, we to me, I see new generation as they don't have as much money, especially as like the aging boomers. Uh, so it needs to be right entry level. It's a gateway. It's a lower price point. All right. So that's just like, you know, a great way for Acura to say it. And Emil Corker put it really well. Anyways, let's keep going. Um, with the first ever ADX and all electric ZDX Acura lineup, we'll have SUVs covered from A to Z, but I'm, oh man, that got me. So ADX, it's coming down the hatch. I've been asking Acura for years. I don't know if they ever listen. Well, I guess you could say they listen. I don't know if they, if my input had anything to do with it, but I knew they needed to have an, another crossover underneath the RDX. RDX is pretty big. MDX is pretty huge. There is nothing. There is a big gap there in their lineup. And especially with crossovers being so important right now in today's market, entry-level luxury crossovers can sell a ton and make the company tons of money. They need to crush it with the styling. Just, I, I mean, they're going to have the Diamond Pentagon grill, the grill. That is their MO. They need to have super handling all-wheel drive. Uh, they need to have good performance. Um, they, they won't have the true touch interface. Thank God it will have Bang & Olufsen audio. Knowing Honda Acura, it's going to be a very nice and performance tuned HRV, which there's nothing, there's no HRV that has any sort of sport right now. The current HRV only has a two liter, 158 horsepower, somewhere right in there. So standard 1.5 turbo optional type s with the two liter turbo that'd be pretty cool pretty exciting um and i would love for them to offer some sort of hybrid but you know i already i don't need to retrace my steps i don't need to be a dead horse per se what do you want to see out of the acura adx is this some is this the vehicle you've been waiting for in the acura lineup um are you what kind of styling do you want from it do you want it to be like a a coupe crossover. Uh, do you want to be like a wagon? Oh, don't, don't, I, I don't want to go down that route out either. Like a performance wagon. That would be sick. Uh, 
Uh, and they're not going to go the off route, off road route. They do that with Honda, Honda HPD. Like that's just that's a different thing. So even though Lexus is doing that, but Lexus has body on frame stuff. It's a little bit easier for them to do off roady stuff. All right. Well, this is good. This is really good. I mean, it's a, it's um, Acura's kind of they they've had a tough first quarter here in the United States. They were down 10, 11 percent, something like that. Um, the RDX was doing well, but the MDX is down. Maybe it's because they're getting ready for the the refresh. Not quite sure. And I think the Integra and TLX were both down, if I remember correctly. Uh, and that's our whole lineup until the ZDX comes and then the ADX comes. So with that being said, I'm going to close this video out. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe for my ZDX driving impressions. Um, I did a little walk around at the LA Auto Show this past fall. So you can check out that real quick. I was pretty impressed with the overall feel of the vehicle. But again, wait for the driving impressions in just a few weeks from now. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.